as we get ready for 157 pounds now and Jordan Burroughs unbeaten the number one seed out of the University of Nebraska against Michael Poeta of Illinois. Well let's take a rest from the team and just go to an outstanding matchup here of two yeah. undefeated guys that are a lot alike. They're very quick. They're very talented. No team championship here in, in store, but oh, is this going to be entertaining? It is. Now, you know, it's hard act to follow what we just saw, but these guys are maybe the guys that can do it. Mike Toetta last year was second to Jordan Lean in this championship, and he avenged that loss in the semifinals, beating Lean last night. Jordan Burroughs at 149 last year got beaten in the semifinals by Metcalf and, and moved up to 157. These two have not met. Both are takedown machines. Burroughs likes the okay, reshot. Poeta great on coming in clean and scoring with leg attacks. So it's Burroughs in the red singlet of Nebraska and Poeta in the blue singlet of Illinois. And immediately the headgear goes okay, flying that's tight for Poeta. Enough on there. Okay, let's go. Right here. Mark Johnson, the head coach for Illinois. Mark Manning, the head coach for Nebraska in the corners. We're understanding now that the point that was taken away, the team point, may have been taken away from Iowa, not from North Carolina State, wow. even though the celebration from Caldwell came a little bit early. That little shove by Metcalf at the very end might have cost Iowa. We're checking. Quint Kesnick is right now with the officials checking on which team. Obviously, it, it would be a lot more costly to the Hawkeyes to lose a point at this point in the team race. And the reason it'd be a point is because Iowa has been warned twice in this tournament, and on the third no, warning, know. it is a team point. Taken away. We'll get the, the facts on that as soon as we get them from Quint Kestick. Meanwhile, it's Burroughs and Poeta here at 157 pounds. Be careful the hand. Burroughs is moving forward. He has been the aggressor, really working Poeta's head. Burroughs so fast. He, he, he's fast and he's just went into a guy in Poeta that's just as fast. That's why it's going to be so entertaining because usually these guys win on their quickness. There's Poeta in. Nice quickness and avoiding defensive move there by Burroughs. Both two-time state champions, Burroughs from New Jersey, Poeta from Illinois. Out of bounds. Bob Durr is our referee for this match. Hey, right here. Can you feel the buzz in here, guys? Still lingering, isn't it? Yeah. While this match goes on, let's go to Quint Kesting for a clarification on what happened at the end of that match between Caldwell and Metcalf. Quint, uh, with Pat McCormick, he is the uh, national chairman of officials. Why was a point deducted uh, from Iowa's total? The uh, point took place because uh, was de deducted because it was unsportsmanlike conduct against the wrestler from Iowa. It happened in the post match, i.e., after the whistle. So they're on the mat. The match is over. It's an 11-6 score. However. The uh, Iowa wrestler uh, pushed the uh, Ohio State wrestler. It's unsportsmanlike conduct. That's a team point deduction. Who makes that call? Whose decision the, the was that? The referee with the whistle makes that call. And it the was referee correct. on the mat. Yes, and it was the correct call. Point deducted from Iowa could be a big storyline, Dave. Yep. Very much so. Mike McCormick, the referee in that match, that made that call and took the point away from the team score of the Iowa Hawkeyes. We'll update our standings for you at the end of this period and show you that Burroughs, Ohio nice State job. just got closer. And at the very end of this period, Burroughs with a takedown. One second left, he gets a low single to Poeta's left leg. Great shot by Burroughs. Knees down, knees behind, hands in front. With big takedown okay, right at the very move. end of this Elbow first left, period. Red. What makes it worse is no time for Poeta to respond with an escape. 
All right so here is the team situation now the lead down to four and a half for Iowa. Now remember you get four points for a regular old win. That still means that Mike Pasillo needs to do something special with Jake Herbert and that won't be easy. No 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 no. And the fact you can't that just win. No it, it, you cannot that's a huge half point. Okay try it again try it again. Cushion Knees behind hands in front. for Iowa. And it could tie the closest yeah, ever in CAA championship pause. race. Pause. Of course hungry. that's saying a lot still because Herbert again the prohibitive favorite. At 184, no. even though Pasillo is the defending champ in that weight class. I'm telling you, I'm going to pause. Okay. Okay, set, don't move. Get on. Bob Durr with instructions to these two wrestlers here. Burrow starting on the mat, looking for the escape, and he's got it. Neutral, neutral, get in. Burrow's nice in control in. here. That late takedown in the first period, and now an escape. Very important for Poeta right here in this period to get a takedown. Gets a takedown, oh, rides out, and he'll center, have the opportunity center. to go down. Go in. No floor. Poeta in. hasn't been able to get in deep yet. The best thing for Poeta right now is that he has to. He needs to create the action, and that's Mike Poeta. He needs to. He can't pick cat and mouse right now. He needs to take it to Burroughs and get in a scramble situation. The fact that these guys have never met, are they still feeling each other out a little bit or do they know a lot about each other already? No, you make a great point there because they don't feel each other, so they have to feel each other out. They yeah. don't, and we're gonna. They both do a lot of scouting. I mean, they've seen each other wrestle live and then on videotape. And that depends. Sometimes their coaches do more of it than they do. Just depends. Mike Poeta talked about every time I, I watch film, I. I find I lose, so I'm not going to watch any film. And, but the, but you know that leaves it up to the coaches to talk to them about the things that are important, like the reshot no. king here, Burroughs. You know, sure. and so okay, man, he's he's kept that really at, at bay. But that quick shot, he kind of relaxed the at the, the edge. Poeta here. did, and it cost him in the first period. That's it. You can see how Burroughs' his quickness, his change of level, really threatens Poeta, and he has to react with that sprawl. Right now, Poeta's on the attack. Burroughs needs to come to the middle right here and get more of an attack going, or he's going to get hit for stalling. No, 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 you're out. Back in. Okay, let's go, man. Center. Color. Watch hands. Three, two, Big one. Three nothing Burroughs going to the third period. The NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championships are moving to Texas A&M and College Station. You can catch all the action on Monday, March 23rd at 2.30 on ESPN2. If you want more information, just go to NCAA.com, the official online home for all 88 NCAA championships. Hold on. Come on, get on. One, one point escape. Neutral. One, neutral. Comes down to the takedown. Riding time, not a factor. Center, center. Right here, Poeta needs to create the action. He needs to force the action right here and make the officials look at Burroughs. Flat out his stomach. Neutral. Not a good shot. Neutral! Neutral! No! Out. Gives you an idea of the quickness of Burroughs sprawl. Really does. Force the action here, right? Here we go. Lots of time. Burroughs so quick, they call him the Usain Bolt of college wrestling. Watch that gear. There's a good shot by Poeta. Neutral! Neutral! 
Again, he tried to keep him in bounds, lost Neutral. position, now he's flat. Well, the edge of the mat had so far been the difference. Burroughs wins it here. You could say he's won it on the edge of the mat. There's Still a stalemate. What a save there, here. 51 seconds. Right here on the edge of the mat, the new rules have really opened up college wrestling. Right there, Poeta knew that if he could get both ankles, keep one foot in, he'd have two. But Burroughs also knew that, hey, Poeta's still in, so I could come around and score myself. And that's, he almost did Burroughs. Almost took advantage of that edge of the mat. Right here he does again. Work it in, work it in. In the old days. No, no, Only no, had no, one no, leg. No. Stop, right there. In the there. old days, that's out of bounds. Back in the middle, Earlier. Now are, you're down no, to 30 run. seconds and three to one and one. I mean, you come down to your go-to move. Go ahead, Dave. Seconds, I was going to say, 30. most of the action here has been on the edge of the mat in this match. Right here, Mike Poeta, fifth-year senior. What have you been working for? What is your go-to move? What is the hey, one yeah, move you're going to throw? Let's go back because in. you better be doing it right now. The There's no holding back. No time. Really got to do a blast yeah, shot yeah, now. Yeah. No time to set up. Yeah. Again, the defense of Burrow so quick. Well, he really throws those hips. And that's what has kept Poeta at bay on their no, feet. No. Seven oh. seconds. Burrows can taste it now. Third place hey, a year here. ago. Stay here. Stay here. Jordan Burrows. Oh. And he got two to wrap it up. Big champion for the Nebraska Huskers, Mark Manning, the coach. Second year in a row, Mike Poeta, second. Well, Burroughs, athletic ability, speed, and that early takedown was able to work that his tactic and strategy to the victory. So congratulations to the Usain Bolt of college wrestling. Jordan Burroughs beating Michael Poeta is denied for the second straight year, and the Cornhuskers celebrate. Jordan Burroughs at 157 pounds. He was able to get that late takedown in the very first period, and that proved to be really the difference maker in this match. And Burroughs goes on to win it at 157.